If I had to choose a body part that reflected how I saw myself, it would be my hands. My fingers are tensile, animated, garrulous. My hands talk, complementing the mobility of my face. Hence the irony now as I write that I have lost much function of one hand, my bad hand, the left, the weak, the feminine, the evil. Unable to control my wrist or lift my fingers or grip with strength and without clever splints and braces, I discovered extraordinary numbers of impediments and impositions. I found it hard sometimes impossible to tie my shoelaces, eat with a knife and fork, hand wash clothes, wash my hair, floss my teeth, insert earrings, put on a bra, zip up pants, pull up pantyhose, I couldn't pick my nose, scratch my body. And the ultimate irony for an academic, I couldn't shuffle through paper, filing away and retrieving papers, grabbing a book off the shelf, the mechanics of using a dictionary became physical chores. I can't caress. My left hand sits as a dead weight against my partner's body or around a child's back. I cannot cut fresh water from a spring and drink from my hands. Yeah. On the other hand, how, yeah, and, and one of the things actually that's just very funny is the way in which the language works on the assumption of two hands. So you say, single-handed and hand it to me and can I give you a hand, hand it to you. Um, and I played with that forever. I, I thought that was great, that, that we use hands to mean um, uh, competence, and and so single-handed means I've done it myself. It means double-handed, but on my own. Um, can I give you a hand? Means do you want assistance? No, thank you. I've, I'm fine with. I haven't got three hands. Meaning, I'm already overworked. There was one point when my hand wasn't working at all, and I never thought it would get better. And I, for like half a second, thought maybe I'll have it taken off. Maybe I would be better with only one hand. Then I decided that wasn't a very good idea. But I could imagine not having it because then it wouldn't be in the way.